Necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum, isn't that a long name? In fact, it, it's now been shortened to necrobiosis lipoidica because uh, there are people that get this condition that do not have diabetes. So we can use the shorter name, but it's still, it's still a long name. Anyway, this particular condition is related somehow to some changes in the second layer of the skin that we call collagen. Some, abnormal, some abnormalities occur in the collagen. You do not get the kind of response that you might expect, which would be your WBCs or these bacteria-fighting cells to come there. Instead, what comes to this site of collagen damage are some cells that we call macrophages. And this combination of poor collagen and macrophages creates this skin lesion that we call necrobiosis lipoidica. And all of this is occurring in the face of damaged small blood vessels related to blood sugars that are too high damaging your small blood vessels. Now the real question is, okay, that's pretty fancy. What do I do about it once I have it? Well, you've already tried some of the more common things. Maybe you've already tried the topical steroids that your physician gave you, and you sort of only used it at the edge of the spot. And these spots are normally located in the front of the lower legs. Sometimes physicians will inject steroids, small amounts of steroid, all again, only on the edge of these lesions to stop their growth. Other things that have been tried, as the question implies, sometimes UVA or even UVB light has been used. Others have tried pills that have an effect on platelets. These are things that uh, keep your blood from continue, can, continuing to bleed. So if you have a cut, platelets are the things that come to help that cut stop bleeding. And now there are a few things that have been briefly mentioned in a review of the literature that I would feel warrants a trial. If you have this condition, it's breaking down, it's making your life miserable, and you want to go to the nth degree, you want to go, what's the next, next step that I can take care of this problem? I would recommend two ways to approach it. One, I would check with your, the person managing your diabetes and see if a of a medication called pioglitazone or actose is something that you could be taking for your diabetes. And secondly, there is a medicine that's available called infliximab. It's commercially known as Remicade. It's given as an infusion. You actually have to go to an office setting where they will put an IV into your arm, you sit there for two or three hours, you receive this medicine, and there have been three or four case reports or where people have tried this technique, and after three such treatments, the skin lesions of their necrobiosis lipoidica healed. So that doesn't make it the treatment of choice because it happened in three or four patients. But certainly if you are up against the wall for treatments because you have attempted to try everything and your doctor just doesn't know where to go next, those would be my two suggestions. This medicine called Actos or Pioglitazone and this medicine called Infliximab or Remicade that's given by IV infusion.